Having a blurry background on a video is a great way to focus on and frame the subject of your video and also just generally looks really nice. You've probably seen quite high quality videos of YouTubers where they are crisply in focus, but then their background is quite blurred. And then you thought to yourself, well, I wish I could do that. Well, now you can. And today I'm going to show you guys how. So I'm going to spend most of the time in this video talking about how you can blur your video background after you've already shot it. And if you don't have the equipment that makes it naturally blurry, however, using AI to do it in post-production is sometimes a little less high quality. So if you really do want it to be absolutely perfect, what I'll tell you is that you have to shoot your video, usually on a DSLR. And then you also have to have a pretty long lens, like a 50 millimeter would work great that has a low aperture. If you do want to do all this and you do have some money to spend to do it, I highly recommend watching the Think Media Depth of Field tutorial to learn all about this. I'll link it in the description below. But if you've already recorded your video or you just don't have the money to spend to do that, but you still want the blurry background and you just want to do it in editing at the end of shooting your video, then I'm going to show you how to do that today. Today I'm going to be using the online video editor Kapwing because we have an effect on it that will automatically blur your background using AI. You don't have to download any software either. It's all online. So make sure to click the first link in the description and meet me over on our website. Okay, hi guys. So the first thing you're gonna do is click the first thing in the description. It'll take you to kapwing.com. You're just going to want to sign in and then go ahead and create a new project. Then you're going to want to upload the footage that you want to blur the background of. So I'm just going to actually upload the video that I just took of talking to you guys. And then once it's in the timeline, you actually don't even have to wait for it to fully upload. Um, you can just click on the clip and then move over to the right here. And then under the effects tab, when you're highlighting the video, you're going to want to click the blur background button. So as you can see, my background is now quite blurred out. As a comparison, you can turn it off again and you can see much more clearly, turn on the blur and it's blurred again. Now, as it says right here, this is a beta feature. It definitely works better when you have a single person against a background rather than several subjects in the foreground. Also keep in mind that you can change how blurry or how not blurry you want using this slider right here. So as I bring it down, you can see that it gets really, really blurry. Um, and then if I bring it down towards the end, um, it really doesn't have much blur at all. So find what you like. You can mess around with it. I do, I do tend to like it quite blurry. Um, I tend to think that really, really nice cameras can do this effect. So I, I like the way it looks. And it also hides things behind you. It can be good for interviews, podcasts, presentations and things like that. Obviously it's different than when you just record this way, but I do think it looks pretty good. So when you're done, you can go ahead and click the export video button right up in the top right. Click export as mp4. So now you have your video exported. You can hear it because I am speaking, but it will have audio. And then when you're done, you can go ahead and click the download file button right here on the right. And now you have your video with a blurred background. All right, you guys, thanks so much for watching. I hope this was helpful. Make sure to subscribe to the channel to keep up with other trends and tutorials like this one. And I'll see you guys in the next one.